I didn't see you there. I totally did. That was a lie. It's masquerade week, so I'm... Fun little mask thing going on. Look at that. I got really annoyed one Mardi Gras that all the masks wouldn't fit over my glasses, so... Fixed it. Except this feather. It's really annoying. Oh! Oh, there. Okie dokie. Kind of feel like some kind of like tribal herdsman. Or a Roman guy, you know? This, these make me look like a wild boar. So on the theme of masks, for the last couple days I've not really been talking a lot. More in some places than others. Like, if you're getting graded on group work, obviously you're going to talk. But in general, I've been, I've been refraining from self-expression. And it's kind of a complicated reason why. When people ask me, I'm just like, they'll be like, Emily, are, is something wrong? Why aren't you talking? And I'll be like, it's a thought experiment. And I'm only talking for you guys because I started this. So it would be kind of weird if three weeks in I didn't participate. I think that'd be kind of rude. So I'm participating. And my thought experiment has given me some interesting ideas about people. One of the reasons I've stopped, you know, talking is because I'm just, there's, there's so much and it's, it's really hard to be telling people what you're thinking and then be thinking at the same time on that, on, on a level that I want to think on. Not necessarily like I'm being like super cool, smart, but that, um, I don't really think in words and it's, it's very hard for me to, um, to talk in words, obviously. Look at me right now. I'm having such trouble getting my thoughts out there. I've just been really excited about life, and I just want to think about it. Like, that's what I want to do. So I'm doing it. I'm, and my parents think I am depressed, but I'm not. I'm just quiet because I'm busy. When you don't talk and put yourself out there, you take in a lot more have you ever just looked at someone while they're saying something they mean? If you really look at a person you're talking to, you learn so much about them. It's weird. I've always wondered how people can treat, you know, grocery store clerks and teachers as like walls or like robots. Like there's a person in there. But now everybody, look, just look at them. Look, look at the way their cheeks move and the way their eyes move, and there's a person in there. It almost feels like social interaction is a kind of mask, because... <sighs> Isn't the world a cool place? I'm just so excited about it. Just... <sighs> I can't, I can't express it. It's, it's a problem. This is why I'm not talking. It is so cool. This week, I challenge you to look someone in the eye. See what you learn. Kind of thinking, you know, Walt Whitman here. Oh, wait, no. Why don't I just end with that? <laughs> I'm thinking like Walt Whitman, except for wanting to have sex with everyone I see. Okay. <laughs>